Laura from the Early Years Alliance and today we're going to be making an easy vegetable curry. So to start off with we are going to need uh, aprons which I have here and then we need to wash our hands. Give them a good scrub, make sure they're all nice and clean. So firstly, let's go through our ingredients. So today we've got some vegetables. We have sweet corn, carrots and peas. Lots of nice colours in there. Then we have some potatoes. Lots of nice round circular potatoes. We have some yoghurt, some tomato puree, a tiny bit of corn flour, some curry powder and a little bit of pepper. So our first ingredient will be some yoghurt. We're going to open our yoghurt up and take a spoon and we need to have two to three spoonfuls of yoghurt in our bowls. Can you help me count? Are we ready? One, two, and three. Well done. Good counting, everybody. Next, we need some corn flour. This is the white powdery one. But for this one, we need a little teaspoon. And we need just a tiny, tiny sprinkle. Are you ready? Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle on top of your yoghurt. Super sprinkling. And now we need to give them a little mix together. I have a wooden spoon to do all my mixing. Give them a little mix together. Next one is the curry powder. Can you tell me what colour this curry powder is? That's right, it's brown. Well done. So again, we need a tiny tiny teaspoon of curry powder. Some people may like it spicy, some people may not, so you can add more or less. Okay, that's a sprinkle again into our yoghurt. And again, a little mix. There we go. Right, next we need tomato puree. This one, we need to have a really big squeeze. So some people may have it in a tube, some people may have it in a box. So if you have it in a tube, you need to give it one, one really big squeeze. Are we ready? One, two, three, squeeze. Oh, it's very tricky to squeeze. You need to use your muscles for this one. I'll pop the lid back on there now. Great, so again, we need to mix all that together. And here we can see it all mixing together. It's making a very funny colour. It's got some white and some browns in there and then a little bit of red. Lots of different colours. Right, I'm just going to move this bowl out of the way because the next one I need are my potatoes. These potatoes have come from a tin and they're lots of different sizes. As you can see, I have a small one and a big one so in the tins they come in lots of different shapes and sizes for this one we need a knife also so you may need some help from a grown-up because knives are very very sharp so they may need your help to cut it so we take one of our potatoes and we're going to chop them in half and then add them to our bowl one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one is 
good counting, everybody. I can hear you all counting with me. So I'm going to get those a little mixed together as well. That's it. Oh, they're all mixed in nicely. Right, so the next one is the vegetables. So we have some very small yellow sweet corn. Some long orange carrot sticks. Some long beans. Some really round peas. We're going to put two or three handfuls of those in our mix. So we'll be ready to count again. One, two, three. Well done. And we need to mix all of these together. So are you going to sing the mixing song with me? Are we ready after three? One, two, three. Mix, mix, mix it up, mix it in the bowl. Stir it, stir it, stir it, stir it. Now we've reached our goal. Oh, they're not quite covered, so could we have another turn? Are we ready? Mix, mix, mix it up, mix it in the bowl. Stir it, stir it, stir it, stir it. Now we've reached our goal. Well done. I can see some really good stirring there. Really good stirring. So the last thing that we need is some pepper. Mine is in a poury pepper. Some people may have a twisty pepper, but mine is in a poury one. Are we ready to do some sprinkling? Are we ready? Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Just a little bit of pepper and give that another little mix to mix it in. Oh, right then. So this is our basic mix for our curry. I now need a bowl. I have got a grey bowl today, a grey rectangle bowl. Some people may have round bowls, some people may have square bowls. We're going to pop our curry mix into our bowl. You need to spoon it in using your spoon. Ooh. And spread it all out. Use your spoon to pat it down. Pat, 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 pat. Pat, pat, pat. So it squeezes all of the corners of your bowl. Give your spoon a little tap because some of it may get stuck onto your spoon. And the final thing we need to do is put some tin foil over. Tin foil makes a very crinkly, loud noise. Can you hear it? So we need to pull a little piece of cling film uh, foil off and give it a rip. That was a good rip. And then we're going to put our foil on top of our bowl. Tuck it in and cover it all. It's ready to go in the oven. Now the next bit we do need to ask our grown-ups to do because ovens are very, very hot and we do not want to fix it and get burned. So we need to ask our pet grown-ups to put our curry in the oven. These need to go in at 180 degrees or 356 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. I'm just going to open my oven. I'm going to put my gloves on so that I do not burn my hands. I'm going to open the oven up. It's going to make a loud noise now, ready? One, two, three. Oh. So I'm just going to pick mine up with my gloves and place it in my oven. I have been cooking one before so I could show you exactly what it looks like. Let's close the oven. And this will be very hot. This one has been cooking for 20 minutes. It's a very hot still, so I need to use my gloves to show you. Here is one of the curries that I made earlier. This looks delicious. I bet yours will look just as yummy as mine. Right, so now, that's how we make an easy vegetable curry. You can add different, uh, different ingredients if you like. You can maybe put mushrooms in or courgettes or peppers 
Or some of you might even like to add some meat or some corn if you don't eat meat, just to make it all taste very different. So now we need to tidy up. So shall we sing our tidy up song while we tidy up? You need to get all of your bits. Are we ready? One, two, three. When we finish cooking, we tidy up. When we finish doing our cooking, we tidy up. When we finish doing our cooking, we tidy up today. When we finish doing cooking, we tidy up. Well done, that's super tidy. And now you've got a nice space ready to eat your curry when it comes out the oven. So that is how we make our curry. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have lots of fun making your curries at home. So shall we say goodbye? Are we ready everybody? Goodbye all the boys. Goodbye all the girls. Goodbye everyone. We hope to see you soon. Thank you everybody for joining me today while we make our easy vegetable curry. If you like any other hints or tips then you can feel free to um, visit Family Corner on www.familycorner.co.uk. They have lots of hints and tips and advice and things to do. See you soon. Goodbye.